fans of The Vampire Diaries submitted all these questions on Facebook. All right, let's dive in. Christina B. from Facebook wants to know, will Stefan ever end up with Catherine? That's a really good question. But um, right now, it's all about Elena and Stefan. Nella P. and Tina F. want to know, are Damon and Bonnie going to be together? Because they have great chemistry. Damon and Bonnie. Well, I think one of the reasons they have great chemistry is because Bonnie hates him. But um, I would say probably I wouldn't hold my breath for that one anytime soon, but I wouldn't rule it out either. This is a very interesting question from Hannah P. Kevin, how hard is it to keep the vampire cast from looking like they're aging? That's what plastic surgery is all about. <laughs> no, we, we, well, yeah, that's makeup, more makeup. Bring in the makeup, we'll turn the lights lower. We, we've got many, many years before that becomes an issue. But that comes with the territory on I know, being a I vampire I know, it's so <laughs> painful. All right, no. well, Yasmin from Facebook asked uh, you, Candace, what do you think of the possibility of Caroline and Tyler? A vampire and a werewolf. That, that has a, just the thought of that has a Romeo and Juliet aspect it to it, doesn't it? Does. It, it sounds <laughs> like a pretty deadly combination there. Um, hmm. I, I don't know. Kevin, what do you think? I think, I think that it's, 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 it's one of the reasons I love having Caroline as a vampire this year. Because I do think how you interact with all these people you grew up with, this character of Caroline is going to be fascinating to watch. Yay, thanks. So. Elijah T. wants to know, even though Jeremy is wearing his father's ring, Will he become an immortal or a vampire? I don't have plans to see Jeremy as a vampire anytime soon. Ashley R., will we see Tyler transform into a werewolf? Yes, we will. We are going to see that transformation, and it will hopefully be delicious and fun and violent and scary and terrifying. And hopefully Tyler will survive it. It's a, it's a big ordeal. Andrea M. is wondering, will we be introduced to other species besides vampires and werewolves? Um, yes, actually, um, but it's going to be a slow burn. The addition of the werewolf this year was sort of the big thing. Um, was sort of the, so that sort of in introduced the idea that there's more than just vampires out there. And so if there's werewolves and there's vampires and there's witches, something tells me there's something else. Hmm. Kylie R. from Facebook asked, was there a scene in the show that honestly scared you? Um, nothing's legitimately scared me per se, but I have a feeling by that look on your face that there will be things eventually. Yeah, <laughs> now well, I feel like you're like, well, now, how now, are we going to get her? Now, yeah, how can I her? <laughs> Robert P. is asking, with so many vampire supernatural shows on TV and in film, what makes The Vampire Diaries so special? You know, the thing that works so great about, I think, this show is that it's a serialized mythology, genre, love story. It's about these two lost souls, these two dead souls, one human, one a vampire, who together, their love for each other brings them back to life. I mean, that's epic. Nikki R. wants to know, in the book, Elena's friends were Bonnie and Meredith. Will a character like Meredith ever appear on the show? Um, yes, she will. Eventually, Meredith will make her debut. We're not exactly sure the best way to bring Meredith into our show and into this world, but we definitely have plans to bring her in. Kevin, does the cast walk around on eggshells because anyone, any character, can die in any episode? Well, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I'm nervous, you know? I mean, I, you know, you got to do a good job. They're a little nervous, I think, but I, I think it's a healthy nervousness. I think everyone feels secure. I actually like my core cast. I like them very much, and I want to explore them, and I want to sort of go down every storyline I possibly can with them and exhaust them. What is the process of casting a wolf? You know, you've got your wolf. You're 100% wolf. You got your hybrid wolf, which is, you know, 80% wolf, 20% German shepherd. Then you got your German shepherd, which will do like the wide shots in the distance that you can kind of enhance so it looks like a wolf. We um, went to LA and held some more auditions. And it turns out wolves, there's no such thing as a Meryl Streep wolf. They just kind of exist and you kind of have to sort of work around them and hope and just turn the camera on and try to get what you can get out of them. But um, luckily we have CG and um, we can uh, enhance digitally anything we want, and that wolf can growl and menace and twirl and rip heads off and arms and limbs and blood can go flying, all with the magic of some editorial buttons. So um, um, the wolf has turned out to be quite effective and quite quite scary, and, um, but it's, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. And Candace A. wants to know, at what point will the Pacey Witter, Caroline Forbes romance happen? <laughs> it's very hey, serious stuff, Kevin. Okay, well, as soon as 
you can get over there mm -hmm. <laughs> and compel Josh Jackson mm -hmm. to come over here and you know recreate Pacey Witter for us, it could happen. Okay. I will be happy to write that I episode. I will work on that. You please. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin. All right, thank you. Presented by Ford and the new Fiesta, drive one. The Vampire Diaries, Thursdays, 8, 7 central on The CW.